Now, with apologies to boy George, I guess Yahoo will Tumblr for you, especially if it finds in your 100 million users a means to money. Never mind, Tumblr is yet to land on that cash making concept on its own. Marissa Meyer, well, hoping under Yahoo's umbrella it can and it will do so soon. She must really see something because Yahoo is paying more than 1.1 billion bucks in cash for a blogging site little more than six years old, and whose CEO David Carp is all of 26 years old. I hate it when they're run by, like, kids, but that's just me. Anyway, forget about what it says about this deal. When you hear Vista is buying up WebSense, which is worth over seven to two million bucks, you're beginning to get that 1990s web deal deja vu that I am to NYSC trader Ben Willis and Urbaz Chahal, who joins us. He made his fortune selling his company, Blue Lithium, to Yahoo for $300 million, and he has not had to work a day since. Uh, actually, he does. He works very, very hard. Um, but let me go to you then. then. You see this, hear this, deja vu to you. Yahoo, not a great track record on making these things work. What do you think this time? I think uh, Marissa is a different structure. She's obviously in it, in building something for the long run. She's going to reinvigorate Yahoo. Uh, I actually think it's a great transaction. You do? I, I think that if you look at it, uh, uh, you know, look at even YouTube and Google, right? When they did that deal, everybody just threw up and said, oh my God, a billion dollars for something that's only 18 months old. And now, you know, several years later, investments later, it's going to contribute, what, $700 million in profit and $4 billion in revenue for Google this year. I mean, that tells you why. Silicon Valley, if it picks the right winners uh, and it chooses to invest in them, uh, the value is there. And I'm not saying, I know that, you know. The check is cleared for you, though, yeah, right? So you're not saying this out of any vested. No, no, no. no, no. I'm, I'm kidding. Mean, I, I'm kidding. I, I, no, you were brilliant at the time, the I, timing of it. Yeah, well, it's not even about that. I mean, just the markets change. I well, mean, even, I, that's where there are doubts, right? I mean, because um, Tumblr, I mean, well, what I learned about it is that it's um, it, there are 100 million users. Uh, it is yet to, to be capitalize off of that. I guess you could say the same about Facebook and it's 900 million users, but it just seems like a few more possibilities there. What I know about Tumblr is, is unfortunate, and I can't imagine any merchant wanting to align their product with some of the blog sites that are on Tumblr. There are sites that involve cutting and suicidal tendencies and some very graphic but that's uh, the nature of blogs when, the, it, when you invite everyone to the party, or yeah. not so party. Uh, but that, and that may be the case. However, what product out there is, will want to have that connectivity to that, to that well, who makes theoretical lithium? buyer? Who makes lithium? I understand that. You know so, I mean? so, yeah, absolutely. So is Pfizer going to direct market to, to the, the people on this site? It, it's a tough run. And, and when you see site, sites like GeoCity or MySpace, where there are people that like their independence and their anonymity suddenly being sold or upsold, I don't know how well that's going to be taken. Can part of it be taken to, to the next level by Yahoo? Absolutely possibility. But some of the, some of the, the, the creation, the actual essence of where yeah. Tumblr came from is a very well, frightening know, place. I, whether the pros or cons of this, I mean, uh, a lot of people liken it back to maybe the Internet boom or whatever we're calling it now is back on. And these unheard of sums for these properties is analogous to the late great 90s. And, you know, buckle up, enjoy the ride. Uh, you know, so Tumblr, 13 million in revenue last year. I guess there was an estimate they're going to do 100 million uh, revenue, in, revenue. in revenue this year. Right. Uh, you need to make and, money on that. Sure. And I think that if, if you look at what the, the, the means of both of them combined could do, so if you look at kind of what Tumblr's good at, it's attracted, you know, 10 of the top 10 global brands. Eight of the top 10 movie studios use it as a publishing yeah, platform. the brand of those people. Like, but, you but, were the but, brand behind your company, and you didn't stick around. Well, that's because it was a different time. And I, I understand I, and that. And I take nothing against it, but you were the real iconic figure. And well, when you left, it's then, different. Tumblr is a well, you know, consumer I don't know facing if it's so product. Different. What, these it's, guys, they're, where are they? In New York somewhere, right? Yeah. In the, so they could just bolt. They got their money, they go, right? Well, I, I think it's the means of what you do with it. So okay. I think Marissa is taking that leadership approach. I mean, you got valuable data. You got brands already publishing and spending so much time. You got consumers there. And yeah, you can say there's racy content. So does Facebook. And guess what? Facebook's made billions of dollars on it. So is Twitter. I mean, there's a lot of traffic there that's questionable, too. It's not the idea of just saying, look at the broad strokes, look at how it's already been working. Do you working. think this is going to work? You have serious doubts whether it will. I do. But what about the larger point that a new boom is on? 
Well, uh, I'm just waiting. I, I've been looking for a market top for quite a while, at least a temporary top. I think the major indices can, can go higher. However, when we start to get into the area where we, we start, it very much feels to me 1990. I think we mentioned that the last time we, we chatted together. This market is, has some well, tendencies. Something's been riding this clawing back in NASDAQ, nothing like it was in early 2000, no. but we're clawing our way back into that. When, when, the, when, the, when the central banks around the world are trying to inflate assets, the, the equity, the equity the, market the is... is Exactly, and that's the limit at where you have. I don't think that applies to tech, though. Tech is more about innovation, and I'm in the valley, so I've seen. In terms of, it's not like any, but any back then. I mean, I had my first company, so I actually saw the trend of. You have anything with a dot com name attached to it, you got funding. Right. You have to have substance. You have to have traction. You actually have to show millions of users yeah, using no, your product. I'm not blowing you smoke, but you also had a brain. I've witnessed and talked to a lot of the kids well, who are part of that brain room. Still, and I see this no, no, wave here's right what, here. And I mean no offense, because I'm actually complimenting you. I, I, I talked to a lot of these kids. I remember the EarthWeb duo that was starting sure. out. And they were idiots. I, no offense, they were idiots. And I'm thinking, you know, they would tell me and others would tell me, you know, Neil, it's no longer price to earnings. It's price to potential, price to promise. Well, you, and, and that was naive at best. And well, I think as that's as to as your point. As soon as you say, as soon, I'm waiting to ha someone actually say the words, it's different this time. And I know we're at the top. Because that is over the years. I've been on the street for 30 years. And when you hear someone say it's a shift in paradigm or it's different this time, you're, you're seeing a market top. You so, don't buy that. I, I, right now, I think you may be seeing, I mean, we're talking about Facebook and how successful it was. The fact of the matter was successful. It was not a great idea to buy Facebook on its IPO. It was a good idea a few months later. Correct. But you had to endure it. The same. The, okay. When you start to see these so turn, the, you start to see these, you're these not stocks roll over. I'm not. You're not a, a seller. No. I mean, I, I think the opportunity of what we're going to see in the next 12 to 24 months, if you look at the growth of mobile, the growth of users, revenues there. I mean, I talk to brands all day. Radium One is my, my third company, so I've been doing this the third time around. And uh, the dollars are there. I mean, you're talking about an industry that's growing double digits, billions of dollars being poured. Uh, you know, there's, that's, that's what people are investing in. It's not hype. I've been through that phase where people were all just chasing and throwing any investment at any right. dot com. I don't feel that. But you're not a value. You don't stick around when these things well, go. You know what? If the right opportunity is there, anybody's going to stick around. So I, oh, I, th I think Marissa is going to create <laughs> that opportunity for David and his team, and I All think right. they'll do well. Yahoo deserves credit. Again, they All were right. the first ones to take a shot at, at Facebook. They made a bid for Facebook. So they... they have, they can look under the hood and see what's there, but I, I just see. question so with early what I, on in my leadership? knowledge is questionable. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you. Well, fair and balanced look at all of this. And it's, it's, apparently it's paradigm, not paradigm. I didn't know that. All right. Well.